Wonders never cease to amaze. Sometimes the more things change, the more they stay the same. So, welcome back to another edition of Ravens Online on Gatekeepers. It's your man here, Hendo, reporting on the Baltimore Ravens and the little bit of news that we've gotten over the last few days. So, Tuesday opened the window, the two-week window, for the franchise tag to be applied to players. And as we all knew, nothing happened with the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. This is just something that we have to sit back and wait for just to see what happens. Now, once the Ravens start making headlines with some cuts and restructures, then we may have a clue as to them signing Lamar because they need that cap space to actually put that 32 mil, $45 million franchise tag on Lamar and fit him under the cap. Now, I do think they do get a grace period if they sign him. I'm not for certain I have to look that up, but no news. And, you know, sometimes they say no news is good news. Not for me. No news makes me worried on the Lamar front. Now, I guess to kind of distract us from everything that's going on, Todd Munkin had his press conference yesterday. You know, he's gotten fans all excited about what he has to come, what he's going to do. We have to utilize the quarterback. We have to get the ball to our best weapons. And by no means should we have a fullback out there running routes trying to beat a linebacker for a first down. I give him credit for that. Like, I mean, there's really no need for those shots at Greg Roman, but, hey, you do what you do. Got to be who you are. Um, so today in news, the Ravens have hired Willie Taggart to be the running backs coach. Now, I am familiar with Willie Taggart because as an FSU fan – he was the Florida State head coach for a couple seasons. Not thoroughly impressed as a head coach, but maybe he'll do better with the running backs. So I thought, hey, maybe with Todd Munkin, you know, John Harbaugh's sister kind of started the ball rolling. You would think the nepotism would stop there. But no, we bring in Willie Taggart, who actually coached with his brother at Stanford. Go figure. I'm, I'm, it doesn't surprise me in the least bit that Harbaugh sticks with what he knows. Sometimes you think that things are getting better, things are going to change, but behind the scenes, it's the same stuff over and over and a different rapper, pretty much. They boxed up some, sh they boxed up some stuff and put a pretty bow on it and then gave us the same package and talking about, hey, surprise, and we fell for it. Also, in other news, the Ravens are moving T. Martin I guess he's gotten a promotion from wide receivers coach to now be the QB coach. Um, I know that there were rumors last week that James Urban was going to go over to the Cleveland Browns. They were looking at him because their QB coach had moved on. I was hopeful because even if Lamar stays, he didn't use that man anyway. He didn't utilize him. The man wasn't good at Cincinnati. I don't know why we brought him in. But T. Martin has now been elevated to the QB coach position. Because he did such a bang-up job with the wide receivers, let's move him to quarterback. And also, let me tell you all, if you are not a believer, I'm here to tell you firsthand, it's true. Prayers do work. If you pray hard enough, if you pray long enough, you will see results. Steve Saunders has been fired. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, he's uh, he's of a different ilk. So they parted ways. He wasn't fired. They parted ways. Now, if you don't know, Steve Saunders was the same strength and conditioning coach that the Ravens brought in to stop the rash of injuries because he had a special program that was supposed to maximize uh, flexibility, stability in the lower half of the body and decrease the injuries across the team. But in retrospect, the opposite happened. We had more injuries. And to make matters worse, this guy came in here willy-nilly, no mask, gave everybody in the building COVID. So during the height of COVID, this man is walking around coughing on people, no mask. And John Harbaugh says, you know what? I'm going to reward you by keeping you. You know, that's your punishment for taking down this team. You're going to get to stay here in a, in a Harbaugh-like move. But finally, the two have parted ways. And Scott Elliott has been promoted to take over his position. So hopefully going forward, this means that we will not be one of the most injured teams in the NFL 
and we can figure something else out because once again, what we were doing in the past was not working. It's time for some change. Maybe not change to all the Jim Harbaugh's ex people or family members, friends, or just people in general that the Harbaugh's grew up with, but we can hope for the best and avoid the worst. Don't forget, if you are new here, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you are returning, like, comment. It helps out with the algorithm. I appreciate you all. And until next time, it's your boy Hendo.